Welcome back to the live show here from the Teradex stage at the Vitek booth at IBC 2014. This is the newshooter.com live stream. We're coming to the end of the show, but the gadgets don't stop. And in fact, have we got a gadget for you? Um, Pierre from uh, L'Aigle. Leg, Leg, I can't say it. It's, it's, how do you say it exactly? L'Aigle. 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 It's a French, French company. Yeah. Uh, but what is this? What, do you, what have you got here? It's uh, a simple exoskeleton that carries a load uh, up to 10 kilograms. So for instance, the load of this uh, gyro here, the DJI Ronin, with a scarlet uh, red camera. Let me show you what this looks like. This, this is very, very... Aliens or Robocop, right? Can we see the camera guys? Look at this. Yeah. Hang on. Let's go the other way and see the arm moving. Look at this and round to the back. Let's see the back here. Check that out. Yeah, what, <laughs> what is this actually doing? What's the, what's the purpose of this exoskeleton? It uh, just carries the load for you. It means that this uh, 10 kilogram equipment in my hands uh, weights approximately 200 to 300 grams. So I, actually I could hold it uh, all day long uh, until I'm bored. But I won't <laughs> get any fatigue uh, out of it. And where's the weight being transferred when you're wearing this? The weight, the weight obviously just doesn't magically disappear into the air. It's got to go somewhere. Yeah. So where is the weight being transferred? It's transferred to? in the hips and descends uh, onto the legs uh, to, to the ground. So but very much like a steady cam would do. Exactly, exactly. Actually, it's, uh, it derives, it comes from the, from the steady cam. The main principle is the isoelasticity of the arm. That means that you can lower the, the camera, uh, make it uh, higher. Uh, and you won't feel any difference. Mm. That means that what you carry is virtually uh, under zero gravity. Because the inherent problem with a lot of things, particularly like these gimbals, as you said before, is that they're very heavy and they put lots yeah. of stress on your arms. Yeah. If you were to just talk, how long do you think you could hold this gimbal without this exoskeleton? Uh, I can show you. Can I stand up? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. sure. stand okay. up, let's see. Oh. So I'm just <laughs> having my, my arms here. So I, I can hold like this for hours. Uh, again, it doesn't um, doesn't put any stress on me, no, uh, uh, only on my uh, on my arm uh, on my legs. Sorry, but uh, I don't feel anything on my arms. And you've got full range of movement. You can put the camera up high. You can put it. Yeah. Put it I down low. I can actually make it the. They so can get like this. Uh, yeah. Nice move. <laughs> You've done that before. <laughs> yeah. And there is a, another advantage, advantage in it. Uh, it uh, provides a vertical stabilization in your, in your image. So uh, when you walk, it exactly, takes, the, it takes exactly. the, the bounce it, out of your it step. It absorbs uh, the, the vertical movement of your path. Can we just, if you stand up again just a second, sure. we just take a few steps and just so people can see how that works. Don't go too far. Come well, back, come back. Out cable. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just letting the camera uh, just in my hands and leave the, the arm absorb on that, the... The, yeah. mo the movement normally with a gimbal comes from your arms because exactly. of the weight yeah. moving up and down like but this. But here I'm very smooth. I'm just holding, I'm just grabbing the, the handles without putting putting any strength uh, on it. And what is your range of movement up and down? I mean, can you... The, the, I can't do everything that a normal steady cam can do. There are certain limitations, right? Yeah, but here I, I can do anything I'm normally doing with a, a Ronin or any gyroscopes. Uh, only I don't feel the weight of it. Is this going to be available in various sizes? The vest? <coughs> no, the, the vest is... Just the one size and you adjust it? Yeah, right now it's uh, universal, the, the, the size of the vest, and it's going to stay that way. And this looks like it might be something that's very expensive. Is this any more expensive than, an e than a regular easy rig, for instance? Uh, actually, we are trying to match the amazing price of, uh, of the, this gyroscope, for instance, uh, DJI Ronin. So it's going to be about 2,000 euros. It's pretty good. Okay, have a seat. That's uh, 2,000 euros. Wow. Okay, when are you expecting to have this available to buy? In about one month and a half. So and by the end of this year, it's going to be uh, okay. shipping. Um, on, on a technical note, so you don't have springs in your yep. mechanism. You have some sort of rubber. Can I show people what is it? So normally in, a, in a, some sort of arm, stabilizing arm, you would have a, a large coiled spring. You uh -huh. have something else. This is actually what you find in, uh, in bungee jump cables. It's a bungee jump cable? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. So it's uh, unbreakable under traction. 
and it makes you, the you arm. Hope if it's used for bungee jumps, it's not <laughs> like yeah, yeah. So, and it's uh, it's uh, so extremely robust, and it gives it the arm a great quality in, in smoothness. So it really uh, accompanies your your movements. And what gave you the inspiration for this? Were you sitting there at home one night watching Aliens, and you think, or well, you know, Terminator, <laughs> and you think, ah, I can do that with my. Uh, Actually, we've been doing uh, camera stabilizing systems, the, the old ones, the uh, traditional ones, so uh, what's usually called Steadicams, which is yeah. a brand, yeah. for 10 years and uh, we are just, uh, we've just been reusing our, our patterns and our mm. knowledge to, to make this. How quickly is this, this to set up? So you, you grab it, you put it on, how, how quick is the process? Yeah, like a backpack, maybe two or one minute more, but it's really like a backpack. And then when you don't have the, what happens when you don't have the, uh, the stabilizer in your, your arm? If I take that from you for one yep. second, while you take it, how, how, do you, uh, how do you rest with this? Yeah, I'm assisted. Uh, I have five kilograms here, five kil kilograms here assistance. So I just have my, my arms raising up. So I need to uh, quit the, the exoskeleton. You need to get out of it, yeah. sort of, otherwise you don't have the range of... Yeah, uh, yeah. so I just, or I leave the, the arm just right here and uh, I get my arm back. Okay. If you have a broken arm, it's also quite useful to keep your, uh, your arm in this position. Okay, that's 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 kind of amazing. I guess no, it's got a lot more. <laughs> it's got a lot more uh, applications than just movie making. Exactly. Being able to hold anything in yep. front of you, take yeah. the weight off, be worked in a lot of different. Industries. Well, I mean, what's interesting, you know, compared to all these sort of robotic solutions, you know, you've gone for a very practical, mechanical solution. Yep. Costs way less than any sort of Japanese. You, Matt's just done a whole documentary on Japanese robotic things I don't think any of them come in at 2,000 uh, euro I think that's mm. that's not the price level so actually we have a, another company doing uh, being the first <coughs> company on the world today to provide uh, exoskeletons for any kind of uh, industries so this the brand is exos uh, it's written right there <laughs> yeah if you can see it and uh, so we come from two we were first camera stabilizing man manufacturer, then exoskeleton manufacturer, and then this this is the result of the marriage of both. <laughs> and in all seriousness, do you think you're going to see a lot of people walking around trying to shoot like this? Is that is this the, is this the future of, of stabilized shooting? This combination, something like this? Yes, uh, I guess it's part of it, but uh, I don't think uh, the Steadicam is going to be replaced by gyroscopes. It's just two different tools. For yeah, making well, why, why, two why, different why, things. Okay, so describe it. We've asked a few people this. What's on your? What's your take? You you make both. So why would you use this? And why would you use Steadicam? I guess um, stabilizing systems, the traditional ones, let's say, are more in intuitive. You when, once you know how how it works, you really can get from your fingertips exactly what you want. And here you you have to uh, deal with the electronics and uh, just uh, work with it as someone else or uh, let's say uh, an inter uh, artificial intelligence with uh, whom you you work. But you can do exactly I find uh, what you want from directly from your fingertips. So it's less intuitive, I, I guess. Okay. But you of course you can do uh, uh, other things uh, with it, like passing it to somebody else. Uh, <laughs> being maybe more creative uh, but yeah i guess there may be some actors also who might find this a little bit off-putting compared to a normal steady cam if you confronted by a camera operator looking like uh, like yes. a robot it's may might distract you from you trying to get say your maybe, <laughs> maybe. Your lines. Yeah, yeah. okay thank you so much pierre for thank coming you. on the show and good luck with that we'll be thank right you. back after a very short break